Hello Virgo and welcome to your monthly reading. This is a quick and general reading for the month of September 2023. Happy birthday Virgo. I hope you have a wonderful birthdays and a blessed solar year ahead and beyond. Okay, so quick and general reading. Um, there, This is a mini tower with work, career and passion and desires and goals. So there could be some either merging between jobs or something coming in, but you still have to be patient. I feel you're very impatient for something or some certain thing that you're waiting for in your life. But there is something there that could be maybe another job offer or working between two jobs. Um, passive aggressive behavior here is showing up with others, but this is also high creativity and fiery energy, okay? Um, you have a new beginning here too, but there could be a little snafu or an adjustment with it. Love, compassion is showing up in feelings and also suppressing your feelings too. You're going to have to maybe speak up or reveal something as well. You do have some frustration. This could be with a situation or a person around you. All right, so I am feeling that energy. Now, I do see that there is scattered energy or kind of like scattered all over. So this could be a little bit of a chaotic month. So I do feel that energy and this could be with trying to keep up with friendships social groups, um, people. Um, I am seeing that kind of energy. There is still some kind of a celebration. Um, and teamwork is a dream work. Okay, so I do feel that energy. I am seeing here um, something is going to be revealing. This is a message or you're going to get some kind of an insight. Communication is strongly indicated here as well. Uh, pay attention to the signals, the signs, and the breadcrumbs during the month as well. There is a lot of inspiration. You're going to be more um, enthusiastic. Speech is uh, very important. You may be making a, an important speech, watching someone make a speech, communications, or needing to speak up. Your true vision and your true calling is showing up here. The power of words. You have the power of words. Now, be careful of your words because they can either help you or hinder you, okay? So I do see that kind of energy. You may be labeling um, things, naming things, um, initiating things. I see some blessings coming in as well. This is a month of taking advice too. Don't try to do everything on your own. So I do feel that energy too. This is a month that I want to say you're going to be dealing with some deception, okay? You're going to be dealing with um, betrayal, um, deception, um, you also could be like studying um, a lot more to yourself, uh, reviewing things, analyzing things, trying to get away with something. Um, and there is a sense of a process and acting in a strategical manner here. But this could be trickery as well. So be careful of that energy. Uh, myths, secrets, responsibilities, choices, all of that is coming up. Um, also could be dealing with an Aquarius energy. So I do feel that. Now, I do feel you start the month with an impasse. You're coming to kind of a deadlock, um, crossroads. So I do feel that energy. It's like, okay, where do I make the money? Do I do this? Do I do that? Or there is something there. It could be with money. But new money is coming in addition to a paycheck or additional money or new way of making money, okay? Um, hope reigns supreme. So I do see that delving into prayer. Your prayers have been heard and wish fulfillment is going to come with a little delay. Um, you need to be impartial this month. Do not take sides anywhere. Do not meddle in between um, other people's drama or something. Um, it's not your monkey, not your circus. So being impartial um, is very important and objective this month too because you have also big major changes that are going to start occurring maybe the second week of the month is possible. Timing could be different for everyone. As above, so below, high creativity, but you need to take action Everything you want is there before you. Now, Virgo, you are dealing with destiny. So some certain events that start occurring the um, middle of, uh, towards the middle to the end, second, uh, latter two weeks of the month is destined, okay? For good or for bad, it is your destiny. It's fate. Those um, experiences that you're going to be going through are destined. You, um, they're important to go through. So you may feel a little stuck or you'd be like thinking what's going on. Can't be dealing with an Aquarius. I do feel that energy as well. Um, maybe you're going to see where you need to make some sacrifices um, to get things what you, what you need. You're going to have to pause and think a little. Sit still. Answers will come. So I do feel that energy as well. Um, I do feel it leads to a quest and um, trying to seek some answers. You have some decisions to make. This could change a lot. It's a game changer type of energy towards the end because there's some kind of de um, dealing with destiny. And I feel you're going to have some indecisions, but decisions that you're going to have to make. And this is going to be something with love. Something may transform and change, okay? 
this could also deal with some contracts that you had. Maybe you had a binding contract for a long time and you want out of it. Um, there is something like that, something you've been putting off as well. So I do feel that energy. Um, I do see this is a month where you may um, have to say no to someone or there's a no answer is what I'm feeling. Um, <clears throat> fall or September 21st and on is going to be a significant, significant time for you as well. I see some worries are going to be leaving you. Okay, they're more in your head than they are in your reality and you will be overcoming challenges and fears. You have um, some kind of relief coming and a new emotional path. And I do feel also you could be dealing with a Leo or someone who exhibits those energies. Some secrets will be revealed. Something will be made um, uh, clear to you. So I do feel that energy. You have a special message um, of blessings coming in. So anything you deem disappointment is a blessing in disguise, but you, disguise, but you will have get some blessings and you may not see them now, but you're going to look back and say, those were blessings. That's what I'm feeling. Feeling. You have a problem with um, patience here. You're impatient. You're waiting for the universe. So you're making affirmations, but you're impatient. So patience is important. And you will later see your blessings this month, why things occurred somehow. Okay, so I do feel that energy. All right, the numbers 7 and 10 are significant for September. They could be lucky numbers, combinations of dates somehow coming in for the month of September. All right, uh, Virgo, have a wonderful month.